They've entered this competition with their heads held high. And this morning, they now face the wild card round ardently as proud Tomashans. We feel excited kasi ito yung make or break namin eh. Kung talagang may mabubuga kami dito sa contest na to, dito na namin talaga makikita yun. Dala-dala namin yung pangalan ng US team. So, bukod sa pressure sa team, pressure sa academics, may pressure na hawak mo yung pangalan ng university mo. Siguro dun nanggagaling lahat ng ano, kaba. was given Brothers Burger as their business case. At ayon sa kanilang research, ito ang mga nakita nilang problema. Brothers Burger, in its aim to provide premium burgers, is facing a problem with the stability or surplus of its raw materials, namely its burger patties. Problem number two. The lack of brand loyal customers due to the emergence of different food concepts. Moving on, they proposed the following solutions. And now for the big idea of our team, Brothers Burger to become a healthy option for the target market. For the targeted consumers are within the age range of 18 to 35 years old. Brothers Burger can also lower waste stage or surplus of raw materials by offering canned burger patties. This is a unique way of preserving the patties and at the same time, boost its sales. For the digital marketing strategy, Brothers Burger can also make use of digital marketing strategy by utilizing their website for online transactions. Another strategy is a like fest or contest at their Facebook page to create more brand awareness. Kung ano ang reactions ng ating mga judges, let's all watch this. Did you not mention that uh, one of the key problems is oversupply? Yes. I didn't see any solution. With regards to wastage of the fresh produce, uh, the solution there was the canned meat pro products. In order I see. to yes, in order to lessen the wastage, we we will preserve the meats and then sell them in, as canned products. If you want to sell, probably Brothers Burger in the supermarket, sell it frozen, yes. uh, back, back in pack and all that. You know, the frozen are, has the per you have, you have to always manage perception, kasi. Yes. So yun lang, that's just as my aim. Uh, just to add, if it's, if it's okay. Yeah. There are ways to maintain the flavor using canned product, using canning. And there are also different kinds of flavor compounding that we can employ. And that Brothers Burger has enough, enough personnel with uh, proper training to, to make use of this, uh, no, this technology. So hi, do you think you were able to please the judges? I think so. We were able to answer their questions and we were able to present our idea the best we could. I think so far this is the best round for US team. And lastly, with their thirst to redeem themselves this time around, the Blue Eagles once again source determinedly for the wild card round. Somehow, uh, at least we have a last chance to present our case. Hopefully, the judges will like our presentation this time better than the previous presentation. The wild card round is basically a chance of redemption for us to showcase what Ateneo is truly worth of. As seen before, we have a lot of time. So Ngayon, we're gonna prepare and go around through Mona. Sa second round presentation, I think medyo naging nag-overstink kami masyado. And parang we saw the problem wrong. Nagkamali kami sa problem. So I think ngayon, mas sinone down namin yung level ng pag-isip namin. All we can do is to do our best and to hope that that best is enough to win us this wildcard round. Presenting the research on Brothers Burger, they found some problems and these are... Some problems for Brothers Burgers though include that there's a growing number of cheaper uh, substitutes. This includes other types of food like pizza, tacos, etc. And also, another problem for Brothers Burger is that people perceive Brothers Burger as something expensive and this creates dead hours over the day, especially during the morning. And also, it masks the image of value for money. And for their big idea, our innovation is to present Brothers Burger as the premium burger selection that is complemented with a cozy atmosphere, ideal for socializing and an image of value for money. So basically, we have 
three factors. One of them is the breakfast lineup. So basically, the breakfast lineup is a two-pronged approach. Not only does it address the bed hours in the morning, but it also uh, um, improves improves the cozy atmosphere of breakfast, basically. Next is the Freedom Burger. So this is a perfect example for value for your money. So you pay or you eat for what you can pay. And lastly, we want uh, Brothers Burger to implement a marketing campaign that shows that their burgers are value for their money. So basically, the multiply adds on to the uh, feedback side. They want post new burgers, recipes, etc. Torong tanong. Napahanga kaya nila ang ating mga hurado? Uh, you mentioned a lot of good ideas. How to uh, how people will uh, know that Bur Brothers Burger offer value for money. But have you factored in the cost? And you mentioned that uh, you would like the, your customers to say that I'll go back. Yes. Can you explain that further? Well, that basically says that uh, basically that nostalgic feeling of going back, right? If they taste one, they will go back for another one because they taste that it's a good burger, it's value for their money, which will make them go back. Who are the competitors of Brother Burger? Brother's Burger? Well, their competitors, they have a lot of competitors, direct and non-direct competitors. For their non-direct, or like substitute products, they have uh, milk tea, which takes away um, pizza, uh, which takes away um, consumers from that industry. Overall lang, uh, I like the way your presentation is organized. You know, there, there's, there's, your recommendations were, were presented over on the big idea. Part of the big idea was, was uh, tackled in your recommendations. No? Si Mateneo, do you think you were able to please our judges? I think yes, because uh, their questions were more on technicalities and not towards uh, against our idea. Do you think you were given enough time to present your business plan? Well, I think the time was sufficient enough, but uh, if given more time, we could have presented more. But again, we feel satisfied with the current uh, eight-minute uh, time limit. There are two groups that we have chosen. This portion is brought to you by a beacon of medical innovation and the premier institution of healing in the country. Chinese General Hospital and Medical Center providing help and service to the Filipino people for more than 100 years. Umbra, Brabantia, Bodum and Philips Home Lighting exclusively distributed by Garden Barn Incorporated. Association. Curves, strengthening women. For franchising opportunities, contact 0917-529-3816 or visit www.bycurves.com. Cafe De Vito, printing solutions. For more details, please call 570-0650 or 0922-906-7835. .com.ph, the Philippines' number one classified ads website. Manila Bulletin, the Philippines' leading national newspaper. Entrepreneur Magazine. Meralco Partners for Progress features Mr. Freeze, Chubai's company. Meralco has helped me expand my business to its full capacity, especially when they introduced to me the TOU. Shifting majority of its production to off-peak hours through Meralco's Time of Use program allowed Mr. Freeze to lower production costs and reinvest savings to expand operations. Meralco partners with luminaries like Mr. Freeze to create a brighter, more progressive nation. Look what we found on Multiply. A great first impression. My new best friend. Our second honeymoon. I can do this. Inspiration for my first novel. Courage. Understanding. Treasured memories. For a job well done. The finishing touch. My new sideline. My comfort zone. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Looking for Thanks, something? Visit Multiply. Multiply defines. Multiply defines. Multiply defines. 
scientific beauty solutions, full-time medical doctors, affordability at its finest, powered by skin professionals, flawless.